Do I need a surge protector for my unit? Surge protector, something very important, I believe. Now we have the professional engineer from NC State to tell us why do we need well, well, first of all, we have a lot of surge protectors on computers and TVs and stuff like that, but we don't see many on heating air units. And that's really one of the most expensive appliances. Yeah, absolutely. And there's no good method for surge protectors on, on heating air units. So what you generally see when you do want to protect your unit is, is a lightning arrestor, uh, something that protects large surges because your general surge protectors that you're using on your computers and all that are detecting very small amounts of surges to protect items that run on very low voltage whereas your unit uh, you know has items that are high voltage but also has circuit boards that are low voltage and so there are different levels of lightning arresters there's one for your low voltage portion of the unit there's one for your high voltage portion of the unit definitely a good idea especially in the southeast where lightning storms are uh, very common in the summertime and uh, over the course of a summer, we'll have lightning issues with compressors at least once a week that we we go out and address and have to sign an affidavit that you know, lightning has struck the unit. And two, we have a lot of, you said a lot of storms, but we have, I mean, it's 95 degrees one minute and then five minutes later it's 75 degrees. Yeah. I, mean, I imagine that's a problem with power. Yeah, or, or you know, issues where the power's out and, you know, when the power first comes back on, we get a surge of power or when the power abruptly ends and, and has those flickers that we all experience, uh, the voltage can change over that time period and, uh, and cause high voltage spikes and, and do some damage. Yeah, so lightning arrestor, good idea. Lightning arrestor, very good idea. Yeah, so we have a low voltage which we install a lot on the zone systems things like that and then we have a standard one that we install for the units and if you have two pieces should one be on each outdoor and indoor piece absolutely and everywhere there's a there's a connection to your main power source your panel you need to have a uh, a light and arrestor you would you know if you have two pieces you'd put one on the outdoor unit your indoor unit and then uh, there's a low voltage voltage you know, your thermostat wire that goes between the two units yeah. you would tie your low voltage uh, light and arrestor to that portion of it uh, and if you wanted something, they do make whole house surge protectors that go in your panel that are more suited for handling surges, but for your unit itself, you know, you're generally dealing with lightning arresters.